Hmm, what kind of pet matches your personality? Somewhere out there, there's an animal that could be your perfect pet. Interestingly, it might not be the usual cat or dog. Perhaps you're someone who'd feel their best when living with a quokka. Find out which animal would make your life even better with this simple test. Note down your score after each question, because you'll need to add up your points at the end to see your results. Press the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the Bright Side of Life and learn about daily updates on the channel. So, let's start! Question number 1. What would you say if you suddenly discovered a problem? A. I'm a strong and independent person, I can solve this problem on my own. B. Just like always, I'm on my own again, face to face with a problem. Let's see what I can do. C. I need help. Someone who knows more about this issue will have to give me a hand. D. Okay, it's time to deal with this problem. What should I start with? E. I'll just wait. This problem might disappear with time. Maybe there's no problem at all. Now if you picked A, your score is 10 points. For B, you get 40 points. C is worth 30 points. Answer D brings you 20 points. And if your choice is answer E, write down 50 points. Number 2. Choose three activities you enjoy. A. Reading a book, watching cute animal videos, experiencing nature. B. Starting new projects, meeting up with people, being responsible for important tasks. C. Dancing, communicating with people, organizing events. D. Going for a walk in beautiful surroundings, expressing myself through art, spending my time with my significant other. E. Relaxing on the beach, daydreaming, having a tasty meal. If you picked A, your score is 40 points. For B, you get 20 points. C is worth 10 points. Answer D brings you 30 points. If your choice is answer E, write down 50 points. Question 3. What is your favorite vacation destination? A. A beach hotel with foam parties. B. A ski resort in the mountains. C. A private island. D. A cabin in the woods. E. Vacation? What's a vacation? If you picked A, your score is 10 points. For B, you get 30 points. C is worth 50 points. Answer D brings you 40 points. If your choice is answer E, write down 20 points. Question 4. Use just one word to describe yourself. A. Reserved. B. Independent. C. Relaxed. D. Romantic. E. Hardworking. If you went for answer A, your score is 40 points. For B, you get 10 points. C is worth 50 points. Answer D brings you 30 points. If your choice is answer E, write down 20 points. Number 5. You have one hour of free time. What will you do? A. I'll buy some bread and go for a walk in the park. I love feeding the ducks. B. I'll spend this hour at home. There's nothing better than relaxing on a sofa and watching YouTube videos. C. What do you mean free time? If I have a gap in my schedule, I'll check new emails and do some other less urgent but still important tasks. D. I'll arrange to meet friends at our favorite cafe. One hour will be enough to discuss the latest news. E. I'll spend this time in my favorite coffee bar with the book I just bought. If you picked A, your score is 30 points. For B, you get 50 points. C is worth 20 points. Answer D brings you 10 points. And if your choice is answer E, write down 40 points. Number 6. What could be your spirit animal? A. Koala B. Turtle C. Beaver D. Swan E. Dolphin If you picked A, your score is 50 points. For B, you get 40 points. C is worth 20 points. 
Answer D brings you 30 points. If your choice is answer E, write down 10 points. Number 7. Which of the following is especially true about you? A. I can't make myself go to bed earlier than 2 a.m. That's why you won't see me fully awake before noon. B. I love winter. It's a perfect excuse to stay inside and lounge around. You can always say that it's too cold outside to go anywhere. C. I rarely work less than 10 hours a day, but I enjoy it as it brings me a sense of achievement. D. I believe that I'll meet the love of my life one day. We'll finish each other's sentences, and in all things, we'll be on the same wavelength. E. There are days when I want to avoid other people and spend quality time on my own. A walk in the park or a good book is my favorite pastime on such days. If you picked A, your score is 10 points. For B, you get 50 points. C is worth 20 points. Answer D brings you 30 points. If your choice is answer E, write down 40 points. Okay, now it's time to add up all those points and discover your perfect pet. A weasel. Now, if you scored 70 to 120 points, your perfect pet is a weasel. You're an exceptionally active and outgoing person, just like this furball. It may become an energetic and playful companion, joining you in all your adventures and escapades. Besides being friendly and inquisitive, weasels are also pretty independent and prefer to have things of their own. In the wild, they would rather dig a hole of their own than occupy a deserted burrow. That's why you probably won't find this animal sleeping on your pillow, especially since it doesn't sleep at night. A lizard. If your score is from 130 to 180 points, your perfect pet is a lizard. You're a busy person, but a lizard won't demand your constant attention. These animals are pretty lazy. The most important thing you'll need to do is provide your pet with ultraviolet light, and the animal will bask in it for hours on end. Depending on the species, most lizards eat once every two or even three days. That's why your pet won't suffer if you go on a short business trip and leave it home alone. By the way, according to statistics, hard-working and goal-oriented people with open minds tend to have pet lizards more often than others. A quokka. Now, if your score is from 190 to 240 points, your perfect pet is a quokka. This little creature is often called the happiest animal in the world because of its ever-smiling snout. You can easily make your pet happy by giving it a lot of grass, tree bark, berries, and fruit. And just one glance of this smiley face will rid you of even the slightest signs of melancholy. The only problem here is that quokkas are a protected species and cannot be kept as pets, unless you own a wildlife park or a zoo, that is. Just some food for thought. A flying squirrel. If your score is between 250 and 300 points, your perfect pet is Rocky the flying squirrel. This is a highly social animal that needs company day and night. Even in the wild, this creature often shares its home, which is usually a hole in a tree, with other squirrels, bats, and screech owls. Just imagine the parties! This little guy won't let you feel lonely because, thanks to its friendly nature, it will constantly demand your attention. Besides, you'll have a lot of fun watching your pet gliding in circles around your living room. A sloth. <laughs> if your score is 310 to 350 points, your perfect pet is a sloth. These cuties tend to sleep for 20 hours a day, so you can easily spend hours together on the sofa. You'll be reading books and watching TV, and your furry friend will be napping nearby. They will hardly move, and even a bathroom visit will happen not more often than once a week. The only discomfort you'll experience from such companionship can be caused by the algae that grow on the fur of these animals. But hey, these algae save their lives in the wild by helping them blend in with green leaves. So. Buy yourself an indoor jungle! Surely you'll manage to put up with this little quirk. So, which is your perfect pet? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and hit subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life.